So if you potentially have not seen it yet, I had a 425 horsepower Toyota Supra for 24 hours and it was amazing. So I thought as a digital nod and as a bit of a remembrance, I should change my Jester RR here in GTA Online into the Supra that I had. Now, if you guys have not seen that video for some reason, you should go check it out. Your boy was ripping. When last did I play GTA Online, by the way? You know, I've been trying to like uh, get you guys off GTA Online and show you some Assetto Corsa and some wheel gameplay, so on and so forth. But I completely understand why you're like watching me play GTA. I just vibe with this game so damn well. It's a great game. Besides all the problems that it currently has nowadays, I can't believe they nerfed the Cayo Perico Ice. Anyway, here's my Jester RR. All right, so starting us off here, let's go through the list. We start with the front bumper. Now, thankfully, I've already kind of sussed it out, so we don't have to do too much digging over here. The real car has a carbon splitter on, and right here we have a carbon splitter as well, almost identical. Now, looking at the rear of the car, I found that the carbon focus diffuser is pretty much the way to go over here. You see it also has that uh, space for the F1 style brake light and it has the canard on, so it looks perfect. Next up is the exhaust and the closest we have over here from the same photo is the big bore exhaust. So uh, pretty simple, just two. And then in terms of the hood, it's kind of optional. I am just going to go with the smooth hood. I think the real car does have like one or two little fins in it. But, you know, smooth is just perfect enough, so we'll do that. And then here is probably one of the coolest parts, right? If I go to mirrors, the stock mirrors actually are red. So it's almost like they knew that somebody's going to want to make a launch edition over here. So yeah, thank you, Rockstar. And then arguably the most important part, we have the wheels. So if you go to track and you go to Superlux, I almost have a complete one-to-one -one here. It's a uh, five spoke with a Y on it and it is perfect and then i just need to change the color and i think i found that stone silver probably works the best in the car that i had was flipping on the ground i literally could not put my foot underneath it it feels kind of scary driving a car that low next up we have the color very simple i think just a classic ice white is the way to go there we go boom so then just a few things that i need to change here i initially had a roll cage in here so obviously the real car did not have a roll cage was standard on the inside the next thing is the spoiler the real car actually did have a carbon ducktail on as well so yep one to one and then here's maybe something controversial so the real car does have a logo at the top from the shop that tuned it i think it is euro charged the aj's garage i think that's the owner but all of these are a bit too imposing. Uh, it just doesn't work out for me. I don't really like it. So there you have it, guys. We have the Supra that I had in real life for 24 hours. Uh, looks kind of stock, but uh, I think it looks pretty damn nice. I like the wheels. I mean, the Supra, I mean, it's already a nice looking car. Like, what more do you want? So I think what a good idea is, let's take my Supra and let's go do a security contract. Apparently, those are paying out uh, two times money this week. So we can uh, get some of the money back that I just spent. All right, off to the agency we will go. So one thing I'll tell you guys, the reason why I've never done something like that before is because I always had a saying that you don't flex with other people's cars. But, ah, man, the stress just got to me. I needed to go drive something nice. I was getting tired of driving my daily Corolla every day. <laughs> Woo, this thing looks nice, man. It looks just like the one that I had, actually. Ah, I actually need to take off that roof and... Nah, anyway, I'll do that later. All right, let's see what security contract they have for me, yeah? 38 and a half K in my safe, that's a little. I like these vehicle recovery ones, they're kind of difficult. $69,000, hell yeah, let's go. Oh goodness, all the way to Humane Labs. All right, guys, just over half a mile to go. It was a far but very enjoyable drive in the Supra. Enter the research labs. Ah, I've done this before, I think I know where they are. No, I don't think I'll see this car again. Locate the stolen animal. Man, I thought we're doing stealing a car here. But anyway, that's going to be this one. Jeez, I shot that guy like 14 times. He still made it. I need all sorts of snacks and armor here. All right, let's try to shoot more straight here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, going to get rid of all these guys, and then we're going to steal the delivery van and have the slow trek back home here and get my money. All right, finally. Woo! Man, there's a lot of shooting. All right, monkey, let's go home. 
Oh, crap, I gotta open the door. I think so, anyway. Yep, there we go. Open the door, open the door, come on, come on. More NPCs, great. Damn it, guys, they killed me, they killed me. Alright, I need to do a better plan when they chase me again, yeah. Oh man, I hate this mission. It's the most stressful thing in existence. Woo! What a shot. Another one. Let's go. Oh no! Woo! That was a lot of work. But hopefully I get my sweet, sweet 69,000. Who said 100k? I think maybe some of the special missions won't be 100. Let's go. Nice. My doodle shot up. Jeez. Reunited with my Supra. I think it's time to take a photo for the thumbnail and then we'll be out of here. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of action, a little bit of Supra. It was really fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Or like the video or leave a comment. Whatever you want to do, something will be fun. Peace.